Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby if you're new here and if you're not welcome back. Um, so today's video is going to be a really short Lululemon haul. Um, I have only three items to show you guys and one item is something that I think I've actually shown in the past but I will show it again just for comparison reasons. Um, if you could hit like and subscribe uh, before we get into the video that would be greatly appreciated. I'm at like 375 subscribers, so if we can make it to 400, that would be amazing. Um, I'm thinking that once I get to 500, I might do some sort of like Lululemon gift card giveaway. Probably only like $25 since I don't actually make money off of this channel. But if you're interested in that, subscribe and then it will come faster. Um, just a heads up, everything that I show today will be linked in the description. Uh, they are affiliate links, so they do really help me out if you shop through them, um, but no pressure at all. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into the haul. So the first thing that I'm going to be showing you guys is actually the new Scuba High Rise Relaxed Jogger. And then the next thing that I'm going to be showing you is the classic uh, Scuba Jogger. So I just wanted to explain the differences to you guys. Um, so first and foremost, I got these in True Navy because I do have the scuba oversized full zip in True Navy, so I thought it'd be a cute full set. Um, so the main thing that I noticed when I put these on is that they are high rise. Um, the other scuba joggers go up to about my belly button, I would say, but these uh, relaxed ones go higher than that. Like, you could, I could probably put them really high because I have a short torso, but they are definitely like one or two inches higher than the other scuba joggers. And the other thing that I noticed is that they are much looser in the thigh area uh, as well as in the calf area. So for me, the looseness goes down like the whole leg, um, which gives like a lot more of um, like a retro look, which in 2021 now is modern, <laughs> which is kind of funny. But like this is more like what's in style right now is like the looser sweatpants compared to the fitted ones. Uh, and I actually do find them comfier. Um, a highlight of them is that they are still fitted on the butt and like the very upper thighs um, and the waist, obviously. So they're still flattering, um, but they, like, they don't look like a bag, but they are also comfier in the legs and therefore they're comfier like when you sit down and everything like that. Uh, so I highly recommend these. They do come in a, like quite a few colors right now, actually. So if you don't have a pair of these, click the link below and go buy some because they are the comfiest thing ever and it's definitely possible that they have them in a color that you have a matching sweatshirt in and then you can make a matching set um but yeah I actually do think I like these more than the regular scuba joggers uh which I will talk about next Okay, so these are the regular scuba joggers. The fit is very similar to the classic scuba hoodie, like the classic scuba full zip, as in like it's fitted all around. Uh, it is fitted in the butt as well as the thighs, and then it has like a small poof out before your ankle, um, as most sweatpants do. Uh, so they are very flattering because they're fitted um and if you like fitted joggers these are probably what you're gonna go with but i prefer mine to be looser and the fact that the other ones have a fitted butt is really nice so that you don't look like you're wearing a bag um but yeah these are in tidewater teal i know they don't look good with what i tried them on with but i was feeling a little lazy um here's the ankle I wonder if I can do like an ankle comparison here. Oops. Let me know if you can tell the difference. To me, this one looks much bigger. But yeah, anyways, uh, both of them look good. Um, both of them are super high quality and super warm. Uh, and if you're in Canada, they are great for the winter. Uh, they're both fleece inside, scuba material. Uh, and I believe they're the same price. So 
I don't know, it's really up to you. To me, I like having both because uh, it's two different styles completely. The only thing is my regular scuba joggers are in tide water too, which doesn't really match with anything. So I think I should get a pair in like black or gray. But yeah, moving on to the next item. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to be showing you guys is the Invigorate tank, which is new as of like two or three weeks ago, I believe. Um, I got makeup all over it when I was taking it off, so that's kind of a bummer, but this is it. This is in the color Iron Blue, which actually I believe came out last fall. Um, so this is a really great alternative to the... Um, wow, brain fart. <laughs> the Align tank um because it does have a much higher neckline which i really like but the body length is very similar to the align tank um it does have these nice creases down here and down here to give you a little bit more shape um i did get this in a size four which is my true size four tanks and it does fit perfectly actually um i thought it might be too small in the chest and the waist but it's actually perfect so i would say get Probably whatever you get um, aligned tanks in. Uh, but yeah, the padding inside also is not super thick, which is nice. Um, I think it might be similar to the aligned tank, but it's nice because it doesn't, like, it, it's not too much thick padding inside, so it does still, like, look fairly natural. I'm editing the video right now and I realized that that hair <laughs> like right here was sticking out so much in like the last two clips and it's so annoying. <laughs> so sorry about that. Please ignore my crazy hair. <laughs> I just filmed an outro and then realized my phone was on photo. So I just got a lovely photo of just a red blur. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for sticking with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I have been forgetting to ask people to subscribe for like months. Um, and as a result, my subs haven't really gone up at all. So if you could subscribe if you haven't already, that would be amazing. Uh, everything that I talked about will be linked in the description below. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to comment below. I do my best to get back to everybody. Um, if you want any advice or any, if you have like questions about a product, just comment below. Um, I love hearing from you guys. Um, sorry also that my hauls have been very short and far and few between. Um, I have been gaining a little bit of weight, as you might notice, um, so I haven't really been buying as many items, just because when you're in a bit of like that rut and you don't really look how you usually look, I find it harder to like the items that you buy, uh, and also to convince yourself to buy the items, because you know they won't look as good as they usually do, if that makes sense. But yeah, once I get that sorted out, <laughs> then I think I'll be back to my regular amount of uploads and pieces in each haul. But yeah, thank you guys so much for sticking with me, uh, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.